Welcome to News 6, which is presented by the 6th grade classes at Hope All Loudon School. Much of our show this week centers on education, and here's Michelle with a profile of a very important edu educational figure in Bascom. Ms. Celeste Brickner is a familiar figure to all current and former school children in our area, for she has taught school in our county for the last 43 years. She started in a one-room schoolhouse and is volunteering her services as a tutor at Hope Allowance School. Classmate Stephanie Frankert asked Miss Bruckner about that career decision. What made you decide to volunteer your services to the school? Well, working with boys and girls is very rewarding. Let me tell you what happened last year. There was a little girl that came in from out of the state. She was in the third grade, and she had no basics in arithmetic. She couldn't add, subtract, multiply, or divide. So she came in to see me with another group a half hour a day. And after she had been there three months and it was time for school to close, on the last day she came up to me and she said, thank you so much for helping me. And she put her arms around me and she walked out of the room. Now there's no paycheck could equal the appreciation that she showed. When Miss Brickner began her career in 1924, the country and the people were much different. Stephanie asked Miss Brickner about the changes. Children today and the children in the past have many things in common. For it's the team success to a fine group of dedicated men who are willing to pay the price to become champions. Not being on the cross-country team doesn't mean that there's nowhere to go after school. Bascom is fortunate to have the facilities of Meadowbrook Park, which provides amusement and recreation after school or any time. The park was built in 1900 as a point of interest to draw passengers to ride the streetcar between Tiffin and Fostoria. The grounds were landscaped and pavilion built and baseball diamond laid out. Other attractions were a miniature railroad, boats, and ponies that gave Wild West rides to children. Never features through the newer features through the years have included a miniature golf course and a Ferris wheel. Today, Meadowbrook is often used by traveling campers, but is still available for after-school fun. Hope Lawton School had a frightening experience in September, when three school buses were destroyed by fire. Three teenage arsonists were caught. That prank by the three cost the school $45,000. But it is not the cost of the buses that worries us, but the thought of what would have happened if school children had been in the buses at the time. Someone could have, have been injured or killed. Another thought is that without the right number of buses, there are problems with kids getting to school. The school system should not have to depend on parents to bring their children to school. Arson is a very frightening thing, as well as damaging. We don't want it to happen again. Thank you for watching News 6. We hope you enjoyed the small look at Hopewell Loudon School in Bascom. Due to, due to the Christmas break, several early, earlier programs will be repeated during December. Next week, the Elmwood program will be rerun, and during the week of January 2nd, St. Michael Ridge program will be seen again. New 6 will resume with Rising Sun School during the second week in January. Have a great week.